hello hello just waiting for a few more people to join hello so i'm going to be talking you through the new by han london printed patterns so they are not new designs but um they are newly um, released in the printed format they did used to be printed years and years ago when they first started um but they've been pdf only for quite a while now um but we've managed to convince them to do the printed patterns again because they were also always so beautiful and iconic packaging and everything so they look really beautiful um all together on the shelf um so we've got the anna and we've got the tamsin and we've got the hannah in the grown-up sizes and then we also have the mini me patterns so we've got the little anna and the little hannah and then the little flora um so they um the children's patterns come in sizes um age 2t to 13 so 18 months to 158 centimeters so a really really good um range of sizes for littles and um and i think you know as long as you trace them out then um that will be great and that will really last you and then the good thing about the printed patterns they come in two size bandings so you have the size 6 to 24 in a b cup and the size um 16 to 34 in a d cup so that's us sizes 2 to 20 and 12 to 30. so um just to bear in mind there's a little bit of confusion about this so the b cup and d cup refers to a dressmaker's b cup which is the difference between your high bust and your full bust rather than your full bust and your under bust which is what a bra um, cut size is based on so you might find it's quite different because i'm actually an e cup in a bra but i'm a dressmaker's b cup so that's that means because i was kind of confused at first like why can i fit in the b cup pants but it's fine i get it now um, so definitely worth having a look and um, if you do need a um, either a bigger cup size or a smaller cup size I definitely recommend going onto the By Hand London website and getting their bodice fitting guide um, Elisa Lex has done this amazing PDF guide that will really help you and walk you through full bust adjustments small bust adjustments and that kind of thing and common fitting issues so we've had Elisa Lex in the shop before doing the bodice fitting masterclass back when we could run workshops and we'll hope to have her again soon when we can start running them again um, but it was a brilliant session it was a two-day session and everyone that came on it just absolutely loved it so it's definitely worth booking a place when you can in the future so anyway what i thought i would do oops, was super helpful hadn't understood the cup sizes i know it yeah it is confusing but it, it definitely um makes sense once you um, kind of look into it. Um, oh, I will just show you as well how the patterns look. So I'll take you through them. So beautiful cardboard sleeve and it's got the line drawings on the back. I'm sorry, I'll actually show you. And then all your measurements, um, finished measurements and what you need and all of that. And then you open it up and you've got the lovely booklet, which is really nicely illustrated. Lots of good hints and tips in there and then the patterns come on nice sturdy tissue paper and um, so easy to trace out and um, if you want to maintain your tissue paper I'm not that person I'm the person that goes straight in and cuts it out life's too short <laughs> so as I said we've got um yeah we've got the Anna the um Hannah and Tamsin in the grown-up sizes Goodness me, sorry. In the flat upstairs, apparently, there's a herd of elephants moved in. So, what I'm going to do is talk you through some different fabric options that would work for them. So, with the Anna dress, which I happen to be handily wearing, if I move my table, um, you might be able to get a little look at it. So, this is my latest one that I've made. I love the bodice. I think it's 
it's such a beautiful shape it's got these double pleats um, here and these grown on sleeves so you don't have to worry about putting any sleeves in you've got the option of the boat neck or the v-neck i started with the um i started doing the boat neck which was my preference but actually i prefer the v-neck now i think it's got a really nice shape on it i always line mine so i fully line them and i am going to do a blog post about how i do that because i can do it with all machine um all machine stitching no hand stitching at all which is very 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 easy um and then this one's got pockets in so i've just added in some um pockets from another dress just side seam pockets because i don't like it when dresses don't have pockets it weirds me out and i'm also a bit weird about facings popping up which is why i always line them um so this particular fabric i can start with this one it is called the armel i've forgotten exactly what it's called now um there we go, Armel Coral. I couldn't remember the colour. Um, so this is a Lady McElroy cotton lawn. Um, it's so I think you don't want to go anything heavier than a cotton lawn, really. And um, maybe the Ruby Star cottons you could get away with, because otherwise, because it's an A-line skirt, you're going to be. Um, you don't want it to like really stick out. You want something that's still going to drape against the body. Um, so it, it basically it just needs a light to medium weight woven fabric so i think this one works really well if you do want a little bit more body and swish in the skirt you can um either do a um a circle skirt so again by london have a brilliant circle skirt calculator on their website um which you can use so i've done that before so i've done just a plain black cotton sateen and I, um, yeah, I just, I did the Anna bodice and then just did a circle skirt on the bottom. Or the other thing, and I posted a picture of this one yesterday. Um, I did a little roundup of my Anna dresses. So this one is made from a satin and then I put these go days. So these triangular kind of inserts You'll see um, this kind of thing on Strictly if you um, if you enjoy watching Strictly. Um, so it just gives more movement and swish to the skirt. Um, and I have got a blog post, which I linked to yesterday, um, just showing how I did that. But that's also an option as well if you just want a maybe more evening wear kind of one. So, as I said, cotton lawn works really nicely. I've made quite a few in cotton lawns um, and it just, they just sit really nicely and they feel nice on the body and the, they hold the pleats really well. So you don't really want to use anything um, like polyester or anything like that because it's just not gonna press well. So natural fibers is the key. Um, so I also think the Lady McElroy crowded faces would be beautiful for a really interesting and a dress the maxi version would look amazing in this proper statement dress oh there's lots of parts of that one <laughs> so yes love that that's the crowded faces and also have this beautiful jewel toned um oh, where we go it's cool it's sorry about with me the Viola Jewels, so another Lady McElroy. It, this is in the topaz and we also have it in a ruby colour, Viola Jewels. So it's got stunning purpley blues and jade greens. And again, just, that would be beautiful for the maxi version of it. Lovely tones for a summery dress. Also would be great for like a wedding guest outfit when we can start going to weddings again. stunning ruby star rayon would look beautiful in it as well look at that bodice in that and a lovely swishy skirt again lots of hearts for that one <laughs> so this one is called the airflow bloom rayon so i will try and remember to say the names of them as i go and 
then this one is called the Bethany Rayon and I thought this might make quite a nice evening version. Nice kind of muted tones, it's got peachy kind of flowers and a lovely sort of moody grey background. And again, nice and swishy. So those are my top picks for an Anna right now. And then I will move on to the Hannah dress now. Um, feel free to ask away any questions as we go. Um, I know I had a few questions from yesterday from the um, story I put up. Um, so mostly it was around the sizing, which hopefully I've covered. Um, a couple of people were asking about the Eloise dress versus the Indigo. Now the Eloise is a PDF only, so we don't have, have that one in stock here, but you can buy it on by Hair London's website. Um, and so that one, it's more fitted, even though it's, so it's, it seems to be more fitted around the waist, like it's got waist highs, whereas the Indigo is very loose. The indigo's waistline um, is quite high up and the Eloise um, seems to be sort of lower down towards the hips. Um, but kind of similar details, you've got the, um, you know, the options of the um, gathered sleeves and that sort of thing. But yes, um, both lovely patterns. I haven't made the Eloise, but I do really like it. We will move on to the Hannah. So, this one's named after Hannah from Newcraft House. Um, so, I think this one, so this is the wrap dress. So, wrap dress and it's got lots of gathers. You can make a top version as well. And I think this one looks really nice in linen. So, again, all natural fibres, I would say. So, something like this is our lavender enzyme washed linen that would really really be beautiful for a pretty summer dress um i think there's um one of the on the photo shoot i think they've styled it in a similar kind of color to this as well um so that would work really nicely and would hold those gathers in and would be just a nice cool dress to wear in the summer very excited that it's going to be summer relatively soon Kind of fed up of wearing jeans and hoodies and things so um of the colors we are getting some more colors in um early next week um so we've got like a petrol blue color uh, a dark red which would be lovely um and i think a gray um but yes lots lots more colors coming so this one is the rust color which would be beautiful and um, obviously you'd need to um it just depends on your skin tone whether you can wear it um I can wear quite bold orangey reds, so that would be nice. Um, and this one is the teal colour. Love this. Very, very sweet. So, yeah, so they're all the enzyme wash linens um, or a linen rayon blend would work well as well. Um, then, if you wanted to have uh, a rayon, it would um, be a lot drapier, obviously. Um, so, something like this this is called the blush blooms rayon and this is a lady mccarroy one it is absolutely stunning look at those vibrant colors so lots of lovely movement in that one i hope you're all on your lunch breaks from work um that's how i picture this going you know everyone working from home but sitting and looking at pretty fabrics at lunch times um, and we've also got these lovely viscose twills so we've got lots of different colors this one is the purple and these ones are only eight pounds a meter so very affordable lots of lovely drape and movement and they would look lovely in the Hannah I mean a lot of these fabrics are interchangeable for all of the dresses um, I just kind of tried to pick um, what I thought would go well with each and I do have a blog post as well, which I've written um, just with a few more ideas. And I 
also thought it would look lovely in this one. So this is a um, ruby star cotton. This one is called Florida Orange Blossoms. So it's these lovely peachy color oranges. I know there is a version of this with really bright orange oranges, but I like these peachy ones and it's got little tiny um, gold metallic details in it with a black base. And I think that could look really beautiful. And then you could kind of make it a little bit more wintry with a dark based fabric and still wear it with tights. Um, and you could possibly layer it up with a um, turtleneck underneath that kind of thing. Right. So I will move on to the Tamsin dress. Wait, sorry, I found a couple more that I was going to show you. Uh, so we have some left of this one. It has been going like hotcakes since I posted a reel of me packing some orders the other day and um, it included this and then it, it's, uh, it's got really popular and flown out. So we've only got a little bit left, probably a few meters. Um, so this is our large lilac gingham and this is a cotton. And I think it's that lovely kind of naturally type fabric that would work really nice for the Hannah dress. We basically, we can't get any more of this color in at the moment, but I do have it in black. Uh, so black and white coming uh, on Monday uh, so that one would be gorgeous and we are getting in a grey and white as well so big big check I think Let's see how big the checks are they are four centimeters by five I think yeah kind of rectangular not actual squares but Yes, gorgeous. Oops. And I thought this print would go nicely as well for both the um, Tamsin and the Hanna. Or the Anna, you know, I think that, as I said, they are quite interchangeable. So this one is the Claudia Cotton Poplin. I think it's just about lightweight enough to get away with. Uh, for any of these patterns and it would hold the pleats really well so yeah that one it's sort of a it's almost like a feather print it looks like a leopard print in this sort of bluey gray color yeah, right i will bring out the tamsin fabric is the one with these beautiful pleats so it's got pleats on the sleeve pleats on the bottom here and then it's got this beautiful square neckline which I know a lot of people have done um, embroidery at least looks um, from by her London's done embroidery around here and it looks stunning so if you go with like a plain color then you can kind of play up those features and I think again with a plain color you're really going to see the pleats it may get lost in a print unless you're kind of up close with it. So yeah, this is a is our dotty chambre, um, sorry, stitched dotty chambre. If you're looking for it on the website, it's actually a rayon chambre. It is absolutely beautiful, lovely movement to it. It's super soft and silky, and it's got a little bit of sheen on it. So I think that could work really beautifully for it. And I also thought it could look great in a seersucker. So this one is a bright pink and white seersucker. And this is, um, yeah, you see that nice movement to it. 
So yeah, that could work really nicely. And I think the details would come out really nicely. And it'd be nice, easy fabric to work with as well. So I think good for a beginner. labels for the right fabrics. And if you wanted a plane, we've got a few um, stretch cottons that would work beautifully. So with these ones, they've got a sheen. So if you can see, it's got a slight sheen on one side and then they've got a matte side as well. So you can choose which you want. You could even mix and match deliberately. Um, obviously you wouldn't just get them the wrong way around and call that a um, style feature. <laughs> so yeah, these are beautiful. And I think um, like the um, styling on the photo shoot for the Tamsin, I think it looks really nice in a plain. So that could work really well. We've got a raspberry colour, a salmon colour, a berry colour. We've got navy, we've got black. Uh, so yeah, I think they could work really nicely for it. Um, and if you wanted more of a ditzy print, we've got this Isabella cotton poplin. So um, Stacy from Notions of a Dressmaker, she made a beautiful floral Tamsin dress. Um, she had a beautiful photo shoot with her um, with an old fashioned bike and um, this kind of thing would work really nicely to um, have something similar. So really pretty colours in there. I'm just going to check and see our lots of hearts for that one. See if there's any questions I've missed. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. No, I think we're good. I think we're good. Um, but if I have missed anything, just ask it again because... I can't always see them when I'm um, showing the fabrics. So this is another fave. So this is one of the Rifle Paper Company's um, rayons and this is called Strawberry Fields Primrose Mint. So it's a beautiful mint background with red and pink flowers. So pretty. So this would work nicely for any of the three dresses. Or any of the little girls dresses as well a nice scale print on that one or if you wanted a bit more of a classic black and white daisy look we've got this one so this is called black daisies rayon this one's a new one in that came in this week really pretty for a summer dress Um, has anyone got any questions so far? And if you have, just pop them in the chat. No questions, just saying gorgeous, which they are. Um, so, um, the other thing I was gonna show you while I'm here, I had an unexpected delivery today. So with our Ruby Star fabrics, we never know when they're gonna come. We order them months and months and months in advance. And then suddenly, they turn up and today was that day and it's a good day. So let me show you some of these beauties. So these are all Melody Miller fabrics. So this one is the KN stars. So there you go. It's got these little metallic stars running through it. And um, they are all on the website now. I've just added them. So this is the Ruby Star Cotton, which is, it's kind of like a cotton lawn, cotton poplin blend. They're very nice to work with. They feel very silky and luxurious. Um, very well behaved to cut out, very well behaved um, to sew. Then we've got, this is another of the cottons. It's a stunning color, like a real candy pink. This one's called Fly Kiss with these birds that are sort of a white and rust color with, you can see the metallic gold accents there. So 
you know, they would work for any of these dresses, I think. And um, or they'd also work for things like the Cali shirt. Love the pink seer sucker. Could you use that for the Dear and Joe Magno Magnolia dress too? Yes, I don't see why not. Yeah, I think that could work. Um, yeah, so really pretty um, accents in that one. We have a rayon and it, oh my God, it's beautiful. It's just ridiculous. So this is called, I can't remember, Shell. It's called Shell. So it's a white base and then these stunning vibrant flowers like look at this one it's of coral with a red running through it and bright pink it is slightly sheer so you probably want to line it if it was a dress uh, i'm looking through one layer do you know what i think you could get away with it yeah i think you might not want to stand with your you know in a lady die pose in front of a bright light but I think, yeah, you could probably get away without lining it or line it in um, just a, um, a viscose or a uh, acetate rayon lining. We've got some nice ones and some ex designer ones here which would work well. So like the champagne colour or the ivory colour would go nicely under that. Could you use the plain stretch cottons from a few minutes ago for the closet core sachet? Yes, definitely. Yeah, they, um, they go really nicely. Um, with a little bit of stretch in them. Uh, red and pink go so well together. Yes, they do. So yes, absolutely gorgeous. And then the last one, it's a very, very, very special one. I saved the best till last. So uh, occasionally Ruby Star will do border prints and this one is a double border print. So we have, hopefully I can get it off the bolt enough to show you. Right, here we go. So you've got this beautiful peacocky tealy color and then it's got the metallic stars on it. And then the top, you've got this print with these beautiful vibrant colors. And then the bottom, is a much bigger, look at that, absolutely stunning. So it's got sort of these, um, it's got some sort of black outlines as well um, and some bronzy metallics on it. But with some clever cutting, you could definitely get a beautiful dress out of that. I think the Anna would be beautiful with a border print, but again, you'd have to really be careful about how you place those skirt panel pieces um, and make sure that they're going to line up um, because there's one, two, three, hang on, one, two, three, four, seven, I think seven panels in the skirt. So you just need to do some careful working out and then you could have like, this bit running along the top would be beautiful. So yes, I think that could really work out beautifully. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share those ones with you just at the end as well. But yes, any more questions before I head off? Stunning, yes, it really is stunning. Um, yes, absolutely in love with these. But I think, yeah, the other ways of sort of making the most out of something like this would be to do something like a Stevie. Tell you the button Stevie, I've made one of theirs at Upper Border Print. So basically you don't really, uh, you just have that along the hem. And because the Stevie doesn't really have anything to interrupt it, so no darts or anything, it just really lets that show off. So that would work really nicely. Um, something like a shirt with um, that as the border, as the, um, as the bottom of the shirt that would also really work well so like the melilo or the cali shirt um or the cello top from closet core that would also be nice for this kind of thing so you basically want something simple to really let the fabric do the talking um 
a just a gathered skirt would be nice so all of that along the bottom yeah just just beautiful so lots of different options but yeah again uh, um the full circle skirt would be lovely but again you just have to make uh, i'm not sure actually no i take back the full circle full skirt circle skirt because you that's going to be the way that's cut is not going to work but um a gathered skirt is what you want to do sorry telling lies yes that sort of thing would be beautiful okie dokie right i am going to leave you to it for now um i will be back next friday lunchtime for another live um but yeah i will talk to you all soon thank you very much for joining me and hope you have a nice rest of your day and a lovely weekend take care bye bye